Aircraft carriers are floating air bases that represent national power and technological brilliance. These giants allow navies to operate their air force internationally, regardless of local bases, and their influence on defense strategy is unrivaled. In today's video, we're going to dive into the top 5 most powerful aircraft carriers in the world. We based our list off of displacement, aircraft capacity, defense systems, and other factors. Before we go into the top 5, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel. At number 5 is the Shandong, first domestically built aircraft carrier in China. Launched in 2017, this monumental vessel represents a significant leap in China's maritime capabilities. With the displacement of 70,000 tons and stretching 350 meters in length, the Shandong is a formidable presence in international waters. The Shandong's design is based on its predecessor, the Liaoning, which was itself a refitted Soviet-era carrier. However, the Shandong features several improvements over the Liaoning, reflecting advancements in Chinese shipbuilding and military technology. It boasts a larger flight deck and a redesigned island, the superstructure on the flight deck, which improves the efficiency of flight operations and increases the number of aircraft it can deploy. This carrier can house up to 44 aircraft, a mix of J-15 fighter jets and Z-18 helicopters. The J-15 fighters are capable of air superiority and strike missions, making the Shandong a significant offensive tool. The Z-18 helicopters enhance the carrier's versatility, capable of anti-submarine warfare, search and rescue, and transport. In terms of defense, the Shandong is equipped with the HHQ-10 surface-to-air missile system, a short-range defensive weapon designed to protect the carrier against incoming missiles and aircraft. This system is part of a larger suite of sensors and weapons that enable the Shandong to defend itself and project power. The Shandong's propulsion system is conventional, using steam turbines derived from older Soviet designs. This limits its range compared to nuclear-powered counterparts, but is consistent with China's current carrier technology level. The crew capacity of the Shandong is significant, housing over 2,000 personnel, including flight crew, sailors, and officers. This large crew is necessary to operate the carrier and its air wing effectively, as well as to maintain the various systems on board. The cost of the Shandong, while not publicly disclosed, is estimated to be in the billions of dollars, reflecting the significant investment China is making in expanding and modernizing its navy. The carrier's construction and deployment are key components of China's goal to develop a blue water navy capable of operating globally. Claiming the fourth spot is the HMS Queen Elizabeth, a standout in British naval engineering. This aircraft carrier, stretching 280 meters in length and displacing 72,000 tons, is the lead ship of the Queen Elizabeth class. It's a floating airbase capable of carrying over 40 aircraft including the advanced F-35B Lightning II jets, known for their stealth and versatility. The carrier also supports a range of helicopters, enhancing its operational flexibility. The HMS Queen Elizabeth is equipped with state-of-the-art defense systems, including the Phalanx Close-In Weapon System, designed to defend against incoming threats like missiles and aircraft. This makes the carrier a formidable floating fortress, capable of protecting itself and projecting power. The ship can accommodate around 1,600 personnel, including both the crew and embarked troops. This large capacity is essential for supporting a wide range of naval operations, from combat missions to humanitarian aid. Cost of the HMS Queen Elizabeth was approximately 3 billion pounds. This carrier represents a new era in naval operations, combining technological innovation with operational versatility. Its deployment underscores the Royal Navy's commitment to maintaining a strong and modern naval force. Securing the third spot is the Kuznetsov-class aircraft carrier, a significant asset in Russia's naval fleet. This class, including the notable Admiral Kuznetsov, is a unique blend of an aircraft carrier and a missile cruiser. With a displacement of 58,600 tons and an impressive length of 305 meters, it stands as a formidable presence on the seas. 
The Kutznesov class can carry up to 50 aircraft, including the robust Su-33 fighters designed for air superiority. This capacity allows it to project considerable air power essential for modern naval warfare. The carrier's armament is a standout feature, equipped with 12 P-700 granite anti-ship missiles and 192 3K-95 Kinshul surface-to-air missiles. This heavy armament, unusual for an aircraft carrier, enables it to engage a variety of targets, from surface ships to aerial threats. The carrier's propulsion system is powered by steam turbines, producing a maximum speed of 29 knots. Its range is equally impressive, capable of traveling 8,500 nautical miles at 18 knots, ensuring it can operate across vast oceanic expanses. The Kuznetsov class has a crew capacity of about 1,500 personnel. This includes not only the ship's crew, but also the air wing and additional personnel for various tasks. The cost of the Kuznetsov class, while not publicly disclosed, reflects its significant capabilities and the strategic value it brings to the Russian Navy. It's a symbol of Russia's naval power and its ability to project force far beyond its borders. At number two in our list of the world's most powerful aircraft carriers is the iconic Nimitz class of the United States Navy. These nuclear-powered behemoths with a displacement exceeding 100,000 tons and a staggering length of 332.8 meters have been the cornerstone of U.S. naval power since their introduction in 1975. The Nimitz-class carriers are able to carry over 90 aircraft, including the versatile F-A-18 Hornets and the E-2 Hawkeyes, which are pivotal for surveillance and early warning. Each carrier in the class is powered by two Westinghouse A4W nuclear reactors, driving four steam turbines and four shafts. This nuclear propulsion provides these carriers with an unlimited operational range and a speed exceeding 30 knots, allowing them to project power globally without the need for frequent refueling. In terms of armament, these carriers are equipped with both offense and defense. They feature multiple MK-29 guided missile launching systems for RIM-162, ESSM or RIM-7C Sparrow missiles, providing robust air defense capabilities. Additionally, they are armed with Phalanx close-in weapon systems and rolling airframe missiles for close-range defense against airborne threats. They are equipped with 2.5-inch Kevlar armor over vital spaces and have extensive countermeasure systems, including the ANSLQ-32A V4 countermeasure suite and the SLQ-25A Nixie torpedo countermeasures. Each carrier houses a ship's company of 3,532 personnel, along with an air wing of 2,480. In total, including the air wing, the crew can number between 5,000 to 5,200 people. The cost of constructing each Nimitz-class carrier was approximately $8.5 billion in fiscal year 2012 dollars, equivalent to about $10.8 billion in 2022. This cost reflects the advanced technology, massive scale, and comprehensive capabilities embedded in each carrier. Since their commissioning, the Nimitz-class carriers have participated in numerous conflicts and operations across the globe showcasing their versatility and strategic importance, from Operation Eagle Claw in Iran to the Gulf War and recent operations in Iraq and Afghanistan. These carriers have been at the forefront of U.S. military operations, demonstrating their critical role in modern naval warfare. Topping our list is the Gerald R. Ford class, the most advanced aircraft carrier in the world. The USS Gerald R. Ford, the lead ship of this class, is a testament to modern naval engineering. With a displacement of about 100,000 tons and an impressive length of 337 meters, the Gerald R. Ford class carriers are equipped with two Bechtel A1B nuclear reactors, providing more power than the Nimitz class carriers. This advancement allows for an unlimited operational range and a lifespan of 50 years making these carriers a long-term asset for the U.S. Navy. The ship can reach speeds in excess of 30 knots thanks to its powerful propulsion system. One of the most significant innovations in the Gerald R. Ford class is the Electromagnetic Aircraft Launch System, or EMALS, which replaces the traditional steam catapults used on older carriers. 
eMALS provides a smoother and more efficient launch of aircraft, reducing stress on the airframes and allowing for the launch of a wider range of aircraft types. The Advanced Arresting Gear, or AAG system, complements eMALS, providing more effective recovery of aircraft upon landing. The carrier's air wing is capable of carrying over 75 aircraft, including the cutting-edge F-35C Lightning II, the F-A-18EF Super Hornets, and a variety of helicopters and unmanned aerial vehicles. This diverse air group enables the carrier to perform a wide range of missions, from air superiority to ground support and reconnaissance. In terms of defense, the Gerald R. Ford class is equipped with the latest systems, including RIM-162 ESSMs and Phalanx CIWS for missile defense and close-in protection against aerial threats. The carrier also features advanced electronic warfare systems like the ANSLQ-32 V6 for enhanced situational awareness and threat countermeasures. The crew capacity of the Gerald R. Ford class is approximately 2,600, including both the ship's company and the air wing. This reduced crew requirement, compared to previous carrier classes, is a result of increased automation and more efficient design, leading to lower operational costs and reduced workload for sailors. The cost of the Gerald R. Ford class carriers is significant, reflecting their advanced capabilities. The program cost for the class is estimated at $37.3 billion for fiscal year 2018, with the unit cost of the lead ship, the USS Gerald R. Ford, at $12.998 billion for fiscal year 2018. These costs include the expenses for research, development, and construction of these state-of-the-art vessels. From the Shandong's emergence as a naval superpower to the Gerald R. Ford class's technological supremacy, these aircraft carriers represent the zenith of naval warfare capabilities. Each one is a floating testament to human ingenuity and military strategy. Now we turn to you. Which of these carriers do you think will have the most significant impact on future naval warfare? Share your thoughts in the comments below.